In this Upbase review, I'm going to be showing you everything you need to know about Upbase. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below and I'll provide a discounted link so you can get your money's worth. Upbase is a software that allows you to file tasks, calendars, documents, files and a chat all in one place. So once you start, you're taken to this main page with your account, opulent right here. You can schedule if you'd like to. Lifetime access here as well. You have the members task, how many people are on this project and the notifications as well. And your name right here, including this as well. So got your daily planner, all list tasks, your date as well and timers and notepad. So there's quite a lot of things to go through here. They're all very easy to utilize, but it takes just a little bit of work to get around all of this. So first we have this notepad on a schedule. So we can type any note we want to here, of course. So, you know, tools, easy, have it right there. And obviously you type that to insert as well. So like that shift. Again, you can see this. So go ahead and head in two, head in three. You can make anything bold. So if we put, you know, live, let's say we're head in two tools right there. So we can change that quite nicely. I think it provides a good uh, button for us. Now you have the daily journal, small. So you can see across each day what you're meant to do. There's nothing here yet because we're reviewing. We don't have a business running through this software. But in general, you can tell that if you on Tuesday 15th, perhaps, again, you have anything you want to get off, checklist, meeting, client, anything you want to type in being bullet point format. The goal of this is to make your scheduling and files and documents as organized as possible. And you have them right here. And you can do the same with Wednesday, Thursday, which are on a Friday as well, and separate them and lock them for those days. All list again, you can show all this if you want to, and just go to today as well through this. So it always take you back if you're ever lost. And again, you can expand it with the scheduling right here and get back off it. So if we go back to tasks. Now, this is where you can add, this is where you can add tasks for yourself, essentially. So tasks are overdue, tasks are due today, tasks in the next seven days later, no due date so we already have one created here but we'll get to this eventually we're just going to show how we create the original thing so task today or task overdue actually which should be yesterday task today click there live stream doesn't mean anything doesn't matter just we have live stream now that's added just simply is that you just type that in, simply added, and go back and edit it if you want to through that button. Again, you can copy a link for it, duplicate it, whichever you want. If it's a similar task that can be done over multiple days, make it a priority. Let's say high priority right now. So the flag, the red flag is a high priority. A medium, orange, low, blue, right there. And a signy, we've naturally assigned it, but if you have a team here, Different people could assign different things. So due date is today. As it says there, this is meant to be for today. But we can, however, change this. We're not locked into today. So if you want to make it Friday 25th, right there, and then put a time for it as well. Say it's meant to be at a certain time. We can lock it to that as well. We can start that too. So again, there's quite a lot of features you have here just through the calendar itself. And then naturally the next seven days as well click on this and take it back to today so we can ship this this should be for today and then <laughs> we'd have to change up the title of this and it wouldn't make sense to you know assign things to the wrong places as today i have to go to here next seven days i have to go back down there but you see the features that allow you here if you go on board as well you have a different sort of border presentation of your tasks as well, which I think I, I personally prefer because you have client meeting today, later live stream today as well. You can just see things through here. It's easier to get things shown 
in a grid-like board format. You can group by the list again, you know, which is, uh, you know, which was created first. You can do the due date as well, you know. So group by the due date, whichever is meant to be done immediately, flag up first. Assignee, maybe there's an importance in who assigns a certain task, so you can group them in that order, or priority as well, which task is actually the most important one, which is more important than the other. And you click there, you prioritize that, and then you have all this here again. You can even add a task underneath this as well, just as simply as this. Enter office. That's not a re realistic task, but you can have something that simple put right there for you naturally then you can go into a chat as well and start up a chat channel you know again you post something hi and people will be able to talk back to you through the chatting people in your teams are able to communicate you can communicate ideas with your employers everybody's working together it will be all useful to talk through here again and you can add emojis if you want to you have a list right here of different emojis, similar to your phone. In fact, it might be quite parallel. Then you can edit the message too if you want to and change it, update it, or you can delete it if you want as well. And that's through your channels, direct messages to different people, be through here, you choose who's on your team, who you want to talk to, and you message them directly right there. Then bookmarks here, anything that's bookmarked, anything that's quite important, tasks assigned to me, as it says right here, with the link you sort out here, you can add an icon to it as well. If it's a folder, you know, or form or person, you put the color of it as well. You know, go for this nice pink and you save it right here. And so you have task assigned to me just right there for you. Again, you can edit it if you want to, but it will be right there for you to see. And then you've got your list as well. You can add a list if you want to create a list or folder. So folder first, we'll say opulent right there, opulent folder for us. So you have this right there, folder, and we have tools one. And within that folder, again, you can create a list within it. So list color. So we just clicked on tools one list because I was just showing how to create that folder. But within these folders in tools one, we'll let ourselves create a list. So we have a list color. I like the pink again, I have a list of name. Task one right here, description, whatever you want description to be. It can be anything you feel like. It doesn't have to be a complicated description. Whatever the task entails, what you need to know to do the task properly, we put right there. Uh, you make it list or board in the way to view it. You create it right there. So now you have that list essentially, and you have general, you know, editing the list details, and you have the people assigned to it. So you can invite guests or add members, any members of your group. This is just me so far. You invite them on, and they'll be here, ready to look at this list. And you have tasks again. Any task you want to search up will be right here. We don't really have any task right now, as that's why it's quite empty. Then you have docs, files. Again, files right here, you create a new folder if you want a new file. This can be linked to your Google Drive file folders, or you'll upload one yourself if you want to. If you have any files, you just get it right onto it. Then you have your calendar as well. You can add tasks within this folder. So I know we added tasks before, but that was in the other button. This is within this task one, this tools one folder in the task one list. So we'll add whatever task we need to the same way as before. Then you can go messages again within this list and, you know, the chat right there you want to start with. So it's nice to let you create your own workflow in a small secluded space that's away from the larger scheme that you've just created. So that's always really, really interesting. Then the same will be opulent as well. The same thing will apply for that too. Documents again. And just quickly in documents, you can embed Google Docs if you want to, embed Google Sheets or Slides. Right here, you put title, the URL, and you can get it all in right there for yourself to utilize. Once you have all of that, you'll be able to have an entire list of things to organize within your business and your team. Overall, UpBase is really intuitive, really easy to use, and very organized. I'm surprised by how quickly I was able to wrap my mind around the software without needing to 
go for tutorials or look for help on the software itself. It's very intuitive for you. And once you get around it, you can organize things with your team really well. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, leave a comment below. I'll provide a discounted link. Thank you for your time.